You wait for me with dust, for my wife's wife who waits every day by the shovel. Nothing remains in your name, nothing, but to wait for me together with the dust of our home. Those layers amassed, overflowing in every corner. You're unwilling to pull apart the curtains and let the light disturb their stillness. Over the bookshelf, the handwritten label is covered in dust. On the carpet, the pattern inhales the dust. When you are writing a letter to me, and love that lives. Tipped with dust, my eyes are set. You sit there all day long, not daring to move, for fear that your footsteps will trample the dust. You try to control your breathing, using silence to write a story. At times like this, the suffocating dust offers the only loyalty. Your vision, breath, and time permeate the dust. In the depth of your soul, two inch by inch is piled up on the feet, reaching the chest, reaching the throat. You know that the tomb is your best resting place, waiting for me there with no source of fear or alarm. This is why you prefer dust in the dark and calm suffocation, waiting, waiting for me. You wait for me in the dust. Refusing the sunlight and movement of air, just let the dust bury you all together. Just let yourself fall asleep in the dust until I return and you come awake, wiping the dust from your skin and your soul. What a miracle, back from the dead. April 9th, 1999.